Zeal Education Society. Redefining Excellence. Hello, I am Sriharsh Nadgoda pursuing degree in second year electrical engineering at Zeal College of Engineering. Today, me and my group are going to present you the presentation on the topic electrical energy generation by solar panel, which is guided by Professor Bhushan Kunure sir. So, starting with the presentation, we are going to see all the contents of this presentation. Here in the index, we have all the contents that is idea of the project or abstract, introduction, photo of the project model, construction and its working, how actually do the solar panels work, components used to build this model, applications of the project, advantages and disadvantages of this project, future scope and conclusion. So in this slide, we are going to go through a basic idea of the point solar energy. As we all know, solar energy is one of the most efficient green energy which emits no harmful emissions that will harmful for the environment. Solar energy is radiant light and heat from sun that is harnessed using a range of ever evolving technologies such as solar heating, photovoltaic, solar thermal energy, etc. Unlike conventional power, solar produces no harmful emissions that hurt the environment. It's a clean, renewable process that uses most natural of the resources like the sun. Even the energy used to produce the photovoltaic cells is paid back soon after. The photovoltaic effect is the creation of voltage and electric current in a material upon exposure to light and is a physical and chemical phenomenon. The photovoltaic effect is closely related to the photoelectric effect. So, in this slide, we are given an introduction to the topic solar power. Solar power is a form of energy harnessed from the power and heat of sun's rays. It is renewable and therefore a green source of energy. On a larger scale, solar thermal power plants also harness the power of the sun to create energy. These plants utilize the sun's heat to boil water and in turn power steam turbines. Since the beginning of time, people have been fascinated by the sun. Ancient civilizations personified the sun, worshipping it as god or goddess. Throughout history, farming and agricultural efforts have relied upon the sun's rays to grow crops and sustain populations. Only recently, however, have we developed the ability to harness the sun's awesome power. The resulting technologies have promising implications for the future of renewable energy and sustainability. So here, in this slide, we have included an image of our project model. As you can see in this picture, we have built a simple model which has a solar panel and an LED. In this slide, you can see that we have provided two images of the working of the model. On the left, we have the on state of the working model. That is, when the sun's rays fall on the solar panel, it converts the sun's rays into electrical energy and as a result, the LED bulb is seen glowing. Whereas on the right hand side, we have provided the image of off state model where the sun's rays, when the sun's rays do not fall on the solar panel, there is no electrical energy being converted and generated. Hence, we cannot see the LED bulb glowing. Here, in this slide, we are going to see the construction and working of the solar cell. Here we, below, we have provided view with an image of a, a solar cell to a PV system. Solar power is the conversion of energy from sunlight into electricity, either directly by using PV cells, indirectly using concentrated solar power or a combination. Concentrated solar power systems use lenses or mirrors and tracking systems to focus a large area of sunlight into a small beam. PV cells convert light into an electric current using the photovoltaic effect. 
Photovoltaic solar panels absorb sunlight as a source of energy to generate electricity. A photovoltaic model is a packaged connected assembly of typically 6 into 10, that is 60 photovoltaic solar cells. Photovoltaic modules constitute the photovoltaic array of a PV system that generates and supplies solar and electricity in co commercial as well as residential applications. Each module is rated by its DC output under standard test conditions and typically ranges from 100 to 365 watts. The efficiency of a module determines the area of a module given the same rated output. An 8% efficient 230 watt model will have twice the area of a 16% efficient 230 watt module. There are a few commercially available solar modules that exceed efficiency of 24%. A single solar module can produce only a limited amount of power. Most installations contain multiple modules. A photovoltaic system typically includes an array of photovoltaic modules, an inverter, a battery bank for storage, interconnection wiring and optionally a solar tracking mechanism. The most common application of solar panels is solar water heating systems. The price of solar power has continued to fall so that in many countries it is cheaper than ordinary fossil fuel electricity from the electricity grid, a phenomenon known as grid parity. When photons hit a solar cell, they knock electrons loose from their atoms. If conductors are attached to the positive and negative sides of a cell, it forms an electrical circuit. When electrons flow through such a circuit, they generate electricity. Multiple cells make up a solar panel and multiple panels or models can be wired together to form a solar array. The more panels you can deploy, the more energy you can expect to generate. In the next slide, we are going to discuss on how solar panels work. PV solar panels generate direct current that is DC electricity. With DC electricity, electrons flow in one direction around a circuit. This example shows a battery powering a light bulb. The electrons move from negative side of battery through the lamp and return to the positive side of the battery. With AC electricity, electrons are pushed and pulled periodically reversing much like the cylinder of car's engine. Generate, generators create AC electricity when a coil of wire is spun next to the magnet. Many different energy sources can turn the handle of this generator such as gas or diesel fuel. AC electricity was chosen for the US electrical power grid primarily because it is less expensive to the transmit over long distances. However, solar panels create DC electricity. How do we get DC electricity into AC grid? We use an inverter. Here in this slide, we have listed all the components we use to build the model. So we use the solar panel wires that is a PVC wire and an LED bulb. So here in this slide, we have presented some of the most common applications of this project. This project can be also used in concentrated solar power plants that is CSP, solar thermal electric power plant, photovoltaic, solar heating systems, solar lighting, solar cars, solar powered satellite and many other projects. Here in this slide, we, we can see some advantages of the solar energy. Solar power is pollution free and causes no greenhouse gases to be em emitted after installation. It reduces dependence on foreign oil and fossil fuels. Renewable clean power that is available every day of the year, even cloudy days produce some power. Returns on investment, unlike paying for utility bills. Virtually, no maintenance as solar panels last over 30 years. Here, in this slide, we can see some disadvantages of solar energy. That is, the first is high initial costs for material and installation and long ROI. It needs lot of space as efficiency is not 100% yet. No solar power at night, so there is a need of large battery bank. 
Here, in this slide, we are going to discuss about some future scopes. So, as we can see, that Thar Desert has some of India's best solar power projects estimated to generate 700 to 2100 gigawatt. Future of solar energy in India in solar energy sector, many large projects have been proposed in India. Like this, we can see many other future scopes for this project. So, we come to the conclusion of this presentation. We can conclude that the sun is a powerful source of energy that can help our planet by giving us clean, reusable energy to power our world. The use of this energy is free, it does not even create pollution. And if it is used wisely, it can help us become less dependent on other more costly and damages, damaging forms of power. We have the ability to harvest this energy, but we must invest more money and further develop and perfect the technology at hand. Therefore, we believe that solar energy is the energy of the future and can solve all our energy demands including eliminating the pollution caused by other forms of energy generations. So, I thank you all to watch our presentation and get a basic idea about our project. My name is Kartik Hanuman Pancha. This is project based learning model and this project name is Electrical Energy Generation by using solar panel. In this project there are mainly three components solar panel. Voltage rating is 5.5 volt and current rating is 250 mA. PVC wire is connected to the solar panel positive and negative terminals and other means are connected to the LED bulb. Working principle of solar panel. There are mainly three layers. P layer, junction layer and N layer. P layer contains positive holes and N layer contains negative electrons. When sunlight for when light falls on the solar cell electrons start moving to positive terminal to negative terminal and LED bulbs start glowing first condition is when light falls when light falls on the solar panel light start blinking And second condition is when light is not fall on the solar LED is off. Thank you.